everybody and welcome back to Paul Does Magic. This week's episode is the Artist Spotlight. And before we get into it, I just wanted to say a few words about this week's, or this month's, artist. Uh, I have a lot of respect for this guy. Uh, I wish that you guys would go and support him in any way that you can. He's a... Uh, in my mind, he's a pretty, he's a rather creative genius. So, without further ado, this week's, this month's Artist Spotlight is Eric Stevens. So, I'll go watch this video and stay to the end because there's going to be more stuff at the end. Bye. Hey there, my name is Eric Stevens, and I'm really grateful to be a part of this Artist's Spotlight. So I've been instructed to kind of tell you a little bit about myself, about what I do, and uh, sort of plug some things here and there. So I am a 26-year-old professional magician based out of Las Vegas, Nevada. I have worked for a very long time, uh, primarily uh, on card magic, but for the last 10 years or so, I, I branched out uh, quite a bit more, have my own one-man show, uh, working on a number of projects, uh, including the Hot Rod, which is something that I've sort of taken from a uh, position as just a, a toy in Magic and kind of turned it into a tool. But uh, you can see I've got my, my Magic library here behind me. There's more that you can't see. It's just kind of dark in here. Sorry. But, um, yeah, I've been interested in magic since I was very, very young. I watched a lot of the specials on TV, David Blaine, Chris Angel. A lot of us did. Uh, but my love stems primarily from the theatrics of it, uh, not necessarily the whole look what I can do that you can't kind of mentality. I really love to be able to convey a message, right? Something meaningful and important to tr really, truly communicate with the people. Um, and actually, that's what this book is about, Five Points of Magic by Juan Demaris. If you have not read this, you are wrong. You need to read it. But uh, he actually says here, an earlier page, he says... When you think of a magician today, you expect him to be dexterous and likable. As magicians, we expect incredible skill in a manipulator, humor from a comedy magician, and a nice commercial act from a professional. However, we often forget that all of them, no matter what their specialty is, must have at least two things in common. They want to be good magicians and sensible artists. First, they must possess the ability to create an atmosphere of the impossible, performing seemingly impossible effects, and second... They must be able to communicate with the audience. Communication is everything. So if you ever see my show, you will understand that it's all about communication, all about trying to get on the level of the audience. Um, I don't think it's about making magic believable, because it's inherently ridiculous. I think it's more about making magic relatable, finding something uh, between you and your audience members, common ground, a common thread, something where you can go... Oh, I've been there. I have a memory like that. I I get it, you know? So that's where a lot of my inspiration comes from. Not just things that I love or my environment or the fact that I, I'm a bit of a bibliophile. I love my books. Uh, or that I'm a musician or a designer or any of that. It's about trying to combine all these different things, all these different desires and interests and motivations and blending them into a character that I portray on stage. Uh, I've also been told to uh, plug my stuff a little bit, so if you are interested in learning more about my work, uh, you can find me primarily on www.ericstevensmagic.com. A friend of mine said take out the www, just make it ericstevensmagic.com when you're talking to people about it. But you can do it either way. Just make sure that you type in www.ericstevensmagic.com. You'll find uh, most of my products, uh, downloads, PDFs, 
physical books that I've written, stuff like that. Uh, I've written seven books and published more, so if you're a magician looking for uh, somebody to publish your book and big companies aren't picking you up, hit me up. ExperienceWonder at Hotmail.com or you can message me through the website. You can also find my work on PenguinMagic.com uh, and a number of other websites, my At The Table Lecture, my Color Sticks, Hot Rod Download, all sorts of stuff. But, uh, but yeah, it's a little bit about me. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, like I said, please go and support Eric in any way that you can. Over on his Instagram, his website, uh, whatever he's got out there. Uh, but also, I just wanted to remind everybody, if you want to be in the artist spotlight, all you got to do is hit me up with a direct message over on the Instagram at Paul Does Magic. You can send me an email at paulthewizardking256 at gmail.com, but that's a really long email address, but it'll be in the description below if you want to use that. Uh, hit me up on Facebook at Paul Does Magic. It's uh, easy to get a hold of me. And I just want everybody to remember that the artist spotlight is not limited to magicians. It is open to any kind of creative artist in any genre that does whatever. If you draw pictures, if you play music, if you whatever it is you do, it is you know creative. Get with me, and we will try to feature you on the artist spotlight. So anyway, it's probably a cat in the window behind me or something. But uh, that's it for this week's video, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.